This is in response to Billy's Talking Points memo from Wednesday, April 8th, 2015, The Continuing Christian Controversy in America. Now let's get to something straight right offhand. Billy wants to do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, to trash Obama. Number two, <laughs> to trash liberals. And uh, number three, to let Christians think that everything that they think should be okay and codified in law should, should actually be that way. And, uh, you know, it really shouldn't. So the first thing that Billy has to do is he has to trash Obama. So he has uh, a couple clips of Obama, one before his uh, prayer breakfast on um, Monday, which would have been Easter Monday, uh, where Obama made some comments about being a sinner, about never meeting, being able to meet the expectations of our Savior and continuing to ask forgiveness and help from our Savior, blah, blah. And then the other clip was from Obama speaking to the UN, I do believe it was a couple years ago, talking about uh, that the, uh, uh, the Quran uh, preaches love, Muslims are about love, uh, that it is not a hate uh, filled religion, uh, etc. So again, Billy wants to equate that, oh, oh my God, suddenly, yes, now we all come and realize it, Obama really is a Muslim. Uh, or uh, Billy would like to think that he is not nearly as much of a Christian as, <laughs> as uh, Obama would like to indicate. So he's trying to really, really nudge Christians to say, oh, this Obama guy, if we hadn't known it before, really is a, is a, is a, is a secret closeted Muslim. Uh, and um, then he goes on to talk about how in 2008, Obama was against gay marriage. Obama uh, uh, obviously changed his vision, I believe, during the election of 2008 when Joe Biden let it out of the bag. Uh, Obama said before that he was evolving on the issue, and we come to see that his position on the issue did not hurt him in the 2008 election as he won that handily, though I do not believe he got quite the popular vote he got in 2008, and I meant 2012. Uh, but Billy's point in all of this uh, is that because Obama's position has changed, what about those people whose position haven't changed, who have, uh, uh, who have um, a religious conviction that uh, it's okay to hate gay people and it's okay to hate uh, LBG, LBGT people. It's okay to help, to help not only hate them, but to codify into law that you are allowed to hate them, that you are publicly allowed to discriminate against them. That's taking it quite to another, 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 uh, another position. Uh, and then, of course, that if you are, are not allowed to do this, uh, then... Uh, <laughs> then you are biased against gays if you have that feeling uh, that you should be able to do it, but uh, uh, then you're biased against gays. And now, of course, he makes the next equation that if you don't want the government to spend money on abortions, uh, then you're anti-woman. Now, I don't want to get into this end of it a little bit too quickly, but let me just say, that I am tired of uh, white men uh, close to my age and older making decisions for women. I'm tired of that. Uh, uh, they're wrong, they've been wrong. I think that women should make their own decisions. And I would like to indicate that I do believe that if my friends on the Republican side, the GOP, my sisters and brothers, uh, would increase uh, the minimum wage, uh, would uh, um, uh, in, in, enact the Employee Non-Discrimination Act, uh, insist that uh, all boards must have a certain percentage of women on them that they don't have on right now within a short period of time. Uh, my particular feeling is uh, also, let's uh, throw in there the stuff that everyone, that Billy would hate, you know, let's pay more in taxes so that uh, we can take care of climate change and that we can invest in the infrastructure so that people can have more jobs, invest in education. Then I think that women will have more children uh, and that and also what I would say that we, we, if my Republican friends would agree to prenatal care and postnatal care, and of course if the economy comes up then I think that, that uh, women will have more children and they will not be as in despair in, ter in terms of the current situation where uh, the vast majority of uh, women who have children uh, that are single uh, are in that minimum range neighborhood in terms of how much money they can make. That's just my opinion. But Billy just wants to equate it that if you don't want to fund for abortion, then you're anti-woman. No, the GOP is very anti-woman. And of course, the last thing is, is if you don't agree with um, President Obama's position 
on the uh, possible deal upcoming with Iran, then you are a warmonger and that you want war with Iran. And all I can say is, that's, that's what I've been reading from your people on your side, indicating that there's no way around it but to have a war. And of course, they say that they, they want big, bigger and greater sanctions, but we don't know, well, I shouldn't say this, it appears as if they want sanctions that we know that Iran will not agree to. So what's the point of having them uh, if Iran's not going to agree to them? We've got to find some way to find a, find a middle ground, and then we work on the next deal. But no, you see, it's their deal or it's no deal, and if there's no deal, then there's no reason why we should, we should be doing anything but going to war to them. Now, again, uh, basically what Billy is indicating here is he wants to codify into law uh, bigotry against LBGT people. And he wants to blame the secular progressives or the progressives, the liberals, as being aggressive in this, in this area. And let's just say that the liberals are aggressive in this area because they've made a determination that uh, uh, there should not be uh, legally, uh, legal, should not be, uh, uh, we should not discriminate against LGBT people. We should not deny them the right to marry. Uh, we should not deny them uh, legal rights under the Constitution that they qualify for just the same rights as any other person in the United States. And we will be aggressive in, in, in going after those rights. And of course, what you have here with the Christian right is they want to continue the way things are, that they are allowed to discriminate against people. And the progressives are saying, wait a second, that time has passed. There was a time for that in the United States, but that time has passed. And all I can say on that is goodbye and good riddance. And if you want to continue to hate, because that's what haters do is they hate.